Hey guys, welcome back to another Ninjago video. In today's video, as you can see, I'm going to be talking about my final thoughts on Season 13 overall. First off, I would like to say this season is absolutely phenomenal, and it is way better than Prime Empire in my opinion. I did enjoy Prime Empire, but this season really pulls everything together. First off, we gotta talk about action. That was probably one of the main points and probably the best thing about this season. For this season, there was so much action. The ninja versus the skeletons, the ninja versus Griefbringer, everyone versus Griefbringer, everyone against the Skull Sorcerer. It was just overall, it was amazing. So much action. Cole versus the Skull Sorcerer. There was just tons of action happening in so many different places. The ninja and the, or the lowly versus the lava monster. The mech versus the lava monster. The ninja versus the bats. Cole versus the spiders. It, there's, there's so much action in this season. It's ridiculous. And it's probably the most action we've seen in almost any season. Next, we got story. For the story, I would say, yeah, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. The ninja are invited to Shintaro. They, Cole gets disturbed by a little green monster. Then they go into the dungeons. And then the skull sorcerer attacks. And they find out the skull sorcerer is the king. And then blah, blah, blah. And then they start to fight, which you guys already know the entire story. I'm just saying, for the story, this was, it was really good. I mean, it could have been a little better. Like, I would like to see Klaus be the skull sorcerer. But, you know, we can't pick everything. But yes, it was a really good storyline. I really did enjoy it, and there was absolutely no filler whatsoever. The only episodes I could say were filler, or kind of, I don't know, guess was filler, was maybe the anime um, backstory, but that, that was just telling a story, so I wouldn't say it was filler. But overall, there wasn't any, hardly any filler in this at all, if not no filler at all. I'm just saying, it is a very good storyline. No filler, which everyone loves. Nobody wants to see filler. We want to have the complete storyline all the way throughout the season. It makes me so happy to have a season. Finally, a really good season with hardly our all next to no problems at all. If not, there isn't any problems with this season. And also to have Prime Empire, two really good seasons that did amazing in the same year. That is amazing, and it definitely helps with all the bad things and everything else that's going wrong in 2020, but yeah, we won't get into that. Anyway, it's it really helps, and it's just so awesome to have two great seasons that everyone can enjoy, no filler, no problems, and then awesome sets, and great storyline, and great writing, great world building. It's just amazing to have this, these two amazing seasons within 2020. It really brings a smile to my face and everyone else's. Next, I would like to talk about what I did enjoy about this season and what I did not enjoy about this season. Well, first off, I'd like to say I really did enjoy the story. As I've said, that was amazing. I really enjoyed the characters. I loved seeing the development for each character, not just Cole. So it wasn't just a Cole season. As we've seen with other ninja, it was just them, the focus, like their focus. But for this season, Cole was the main focus, but they also gave some other ninja some development. Like they gave Kai and Zane some more development and more focused on this season, which I thought was really nice. Mostly Kai with the Gleckles, which I thought was really nice to see. We also got to see some more, or some more building or world building for Princess Vania. It was nice to see, or Vanya. It was nice to see her get some attention, finally. I also really enjoyed the Skull Sorcerer as King Vangelis. I thought that was interesting. It was, I guess, a good twist. But I'm saying we would all enjoy Klaus. I'm sure we could all say we wanted Klaus more than we did want, you know, King Vangelis. But, you know, it was still, I really liked the Skull Sorcerer. He was very intimidating, mean, scary, cruel. And he wasn't just one of those villains who can get stepped on and rolled over. And then no one cares about what they do or what happens to them. He was an actual villain that was feared by other people and the ninja themselves who actually were, were like scared and concerned if they came across the Skull Sorcerer in person or alone, which I thought was very cool and good to show that there could be a character that can be more intimidating than the rest. This is a very minor thing, but I did also really enjoy having the ninja with their shields. I thought it was very awesome 
and I thought it was really awesome in that episode. I'm pretty sure it was the darkest hour where Lloyd went all Captain America on the skeletons, throwing that shield and then having it come right back. I thought that was really cool. I like seeing Cole, Lloyd, and Kai mo mainly use their shields to, against the Skull Sorcerer, the Dragon, Griefbringer, um, the skeletons. I thought that was I thought that was just really really cool. And I will say, it was probably one of the most coolest weapons I've seen in this because I, it was very unique on how they used it. Another great thing is that we got to see more characters from the show. We got to see a some new characters show up, like the Lowly or the Upley, either way you choose. It was nice to see them as characters, some new characters that we got in the season to, you know, follow and kind of start to like, which I thought was very nice. We also got Princess Vanya, which was those characters, and Adam, who, who doesn't love Adam. It was nice to get those characters in the show, and then to have some more characters besides just the ninja and the villains, as we've seen in other seasons. I really like to see Griefbringer. I thought Griefbringer was a cool dragon. I'm not saying Griefbringer was cooler than Boreal, but I will say it was a really cool dragon. And it's very intimidating and very sleek and slender, because, you know, it's a skeleton dragon, so it can move very well. Anyway, what I'm saying is I thought it was a really nice dragon that got that we got to see that the ninja would actually fear and as we, you saw in the episodes which was really nice and i think it was one of the cooler dragons in the show now on to some of the things that i did not enjoy as much i will say i did not enjoy seeing so much of the gleckles and munts i would say that's probably the main thing that i did not really enjoy in this season and i didn't really like seeing the anime much at all it was kind of annoying and I, did, I don't know I just don't really like it it's not Ninjago for me but still those are those are very minor things but yeah that's probably the only things I did not enjoy about this season at all but it was still it's all right there's not much else I could say for this season besides it was really good I really enjoyed it so much action, so much storyline, so many good details. The choreography with the fight scenes was amazing. It was probably the best out of we've seen out of all Ninjago. And that may just be my opinion, but come on. That was amazing. Cole versus the Skull Sorcerer. That was no letdown. That was amazing to see. The Ninja versus the Skeletons. The Ninja versus Griefbringer. I thought it was really cool to see Zane and Lloyd versus the Griefbringer. So overall, it's a really solid season, and it definitely owns its keep in the Ninjago community, unlike some other seasons, <coughs> season 11. Anyway, still, it's a really good season, and it's, to me, in my opinion, it's definitely way better than Prime Empire, but that's just my opinion. It's up to you guys. Let me know down below what's your favorite season, or if you think it's better than Prime Empire, but I think that's all I have to say. This is a really solid season. I loved I loved the, in, the Dungeons of Shintaro. It was nice having most of everything in there instead of the Kingdom of Shintaro up there, which was really cool. I like seeing the Cole and his mom, because we never got to see Cole and his mom before. And I thought this was a perfect thing for a Cole season. I don't think they could have done it better for a Cole season. And like I said, this is all just my opinion. But yeah, I really love this season. There was so much action and things happening that you if you if you blinked once you would probably miss something is what i'm saying it was really good and i really enjoyed it i will say that little green skull the skull of hazard i think it's what it's called that thing got really annoying at times and i would say it's got a lot <laughs> on my nerves in the final battle where it just kept third partying Cole and the Skull Sorcerer when they were busy fighting and this thing's just like all right I'm just gonna laser you in the back I thought that was kind of annoying and it was just a little third partier attacking but still it was a really good season and I liked I liked it you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next video peace before I go guys tell me 
Who's excited for 2021 and 2022 of Ninjago? That's all we know so far. That's how we all we know that it's going to be around for. Hopefully, it'll be around much longer than that, but it's definitely confirmed to be around for that long. So tell me down below who is excited for these upcoming two years of more Ninjago. I know I'm pumped. You guys let me know.